I pray that you have had the opportunity to apply all of the skills that we have worked through to this point, that you've developed an Oikos map and you're working on bridging into spiritual conversations. I hope that you have experienced the joy that comes with sharing our Savior with others. It may always be an anxious task, but it is worth the effort. The question now is what do I do next? I want to give you a simple framework to help think about next steps. When someone responds, it usually falls into one of three categories. Yes, maybe, or no. We think of these categories in terms of a stoplight. The response is either a red light, a yellow light, or a green light. Let's look at a green light response first. When you share the gospel with someone, our prayer is that they will receive the message with faith. When you finish sharing the gospel and the person wants to believe, what are the next steps? First, take them to Romans 10, 9, and 10 and lead them to confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead. Paul says if they will do this, they will be saved. This is the beginning of their journey with God. Next week, we will work through how to continue on with them, how to walk with them from being a newborn in Christ to a mature follower. A great first step is to make sure that they can share what you have shared with them. Walk back through the gospel presentation you used and help them get to a point of being able to share with another person. At the other end of the spectrum is a red light response. This comes in the form of a hard no. It will be very obvious that they are completely closed to any type of spiritual conversation. There's a good chance that this person will stop you before you are even able to share the full gospel. From my experience, there are not a lot of red light responses. Most people will listen to you even if they aren't interested in believing. So what are the next steps with the red light response? Pray. Just like when we started this process, we know that the Holy Spirit is the only one who can change a heart. Cry out to God to soften their heart. Pray the Holy Spirit would speak to them and that they would change from the path to the good soil from the parable of the sower in Luke 8. In the future, try bridging to spiritual conversations to see if the Holy Spirit has softened their hearts. But until that point, there is not likely to be any spiritual fruit with this person. Now, let's look at a yellow light response. This response can come in many different ways, but essentially they are saying, I'm not saying no, but I'm not interested in making a decision right now. There are a myriad of reasons why someone may give a yellow light response, but whatever the reason, they are not willing to receive the gospel in faith. So now what? Research shows that an adult needs to hear the gospel multiple times before they believe. If this is someone that you shared with during a chance encounter, pray for them. Ask that the other laborers would come into contact with them and share the gospel with them again. If it is someone that you are around often, continue to share with them. Try different methods. Introduce them to your believing friends that will also share with them. This framework is meant to be a tool to help you as you invest in the lost. Next week, we will be talking about discipleship as our priority becomes helping these green light responses develop into mature followers of Christ.